at Food Trends TV. I'm everyday innovator Dana McCauley. Today I want to talk to you about red velvet. We're not talking about fabric here, we're talking about food products. From cake to candies, candles, yogurt, even beer. Red velvet seems to be everywhere. It's kind of hard to understand since red velvet really isn't a flavor. It's actually just a chocolate cake tinted with red food coloring and frosted in cream cheese frosting. What gives? Why do people like it? Basically, to understand the red velvet trend, you've got to understand women. If we rewind 70 years or so ago and go back to when ladies' full-time job was pretty much shopping, this is when red velvet really rose to prominence. At Tony places like the Waldorf Astoria and Simpsons Arcadian Court in Toronto, women would refresh themselves with a beautiful piece of cake on a lovely piece of china after a hard morning of shopping. So why is that appealing now? If you think about it, we had the whole cupcake resurgence that followed the Sex in the City, Magnolia Bakery, uh, you know, phenomena, and that brought back red velvet. And you have all these busy working women who, wow, this one little perfect little red velvet indulgence takes them away from everything in their everyday life. And that explains why there's so many products. These are people who work nine to five, have families. They're not gonna go home and start baking from scratch. They wanna buy their red velvet and tap into that emotional connection in a tiny little package that they can just pick up on their way home from work. Thanks for tuning in. Before I go, I'd like to ask you my question of the week. What's your favorite cake and why? What emotional satisfaction does your favorite dessert give you? Please answer in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe before you click away. See you next Monday.